Good morning guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to learn about the easiest method to place the bullards which do not have 360 degree beam angle. This is the continuation of my previous tutorial, easy method of placements of bullards and post op lamps in the Dalux Evo. So if you haven't uh, seen my previous video or if you're new to my channel, please do watch the previous video too so that you have clarity on this topic. Well, this tutorial is actually a request from one of our subscriber, Mr. Ahmed Ibrahim. So now let's get started. This is our 3D model. I made it through extrusion volume. It's quite simple. I'll also be providing you the link to download my Dialux Evo open file. You can find it in the description below. Now, let's go to a website and check out some bullard lights. Let's select some bullard light from Delta Lighting. This is the Delta Lighting website. We'll go to the products. Exterior floor surface. Then we have a bullard here. Let's choose this one. Or we can choose this one well, let's see both the bullets oh this is nice so if you can see here uh, can I zoom this image okay yep this is not a 360 degree beam angle okay it's like maybe 270 degree so we can select this one or else we can select this bullet which has the light output only in the front okay so for now let's select this bullard itself it has two heights let's select the bigger one you can find the dimensions of the bullard here you can also find the IES files click here to download you have to only provide your email ID here it doesn't ask for any more information okay my IES is downloaded just place it in desktop now okay first thing we have to make the 3d model of the bullard so we'll go back and check the dimensions of the bullard it is 0.7 meters height 0.128 meters the width and this side it is 0 0.06 okay so we have to place like we'll be placing bullards here and also the curve shape so we'll make the model accordingly 0.7 the height will place the object now it is 1 1 we have to keep proper dimensions here it is 0 0.06 and 0 0.128 okay i'm referring the dimensions given here okay then up to some level it is covered it has not given the dimensions here so i will consider like same 0 0.062 down here too okay this is a solid object we can see here this is a solid object we have to make a cutout here we will place another extrusion volume and use boolean operations so we'll select this Control c Control v okay 0 0.058 will we are actually reducing a little size so that we can perform the subtraction operation okay then here we'll be using 0 0.0 okay then now the height is height of the bullard is 0.7 meter up to 0.6 meter there is a cutout okay so we'll go back and change the height we'll make it 0.6 meters let's go and check the 3d model now correct now select the first extrusion volume hold the shift key and select the other extrusion volume then go to copy and arrange here you can find the boolean operation and down you can find subtract here is cube 21 and 22 so whatever the color changes to pink that is the difference you are going to get after you perform the subtract operation so i'm going to subtract this this is the 3d model okay we can give some texture to it replace material okay done this is the 3d model of your bullard now next thing is import the is import liminal file desktop don't make any changes for the is file finish place individual luminaire we'll place it here for first you can see the light output is towards this side so we have to rotate it
place the IS file little inside to the blood go to the side views and make sure you have placed the IS properly You can see this light output because I have kept the show light visualization on. You can off it too. Now this is correct. We'll group both the things. Make sure you're in copy and arrange to group IES and the 3D model. Hold the shift key to select both. Okay. You can align it to the center of Y, center of X and group it. Okay. Let's run the calculation and see the light output. Calculation objects, entire project. Perfect. This is the light output we need. Okay. Now, how are we going to place this in our project in the easiest way? Easy method is since it's already in group. Okay. We can copy along the line. Maybe I have to place it here from here to here give the distance now if I place two bullets the distance between the two bullets will be 23 meters okay so you can increase the number maybe 10 bullets now it is 2 follow curve shape don't give any rotation offset apply okay now if you see here though my bullets are properly facing this side my IS file is rotated like it is having the light outputs towards the right hand side even if I do the calculation it is wrong because uh, you can see the IS the light output is towards this side this is wrong so how are we going to correct it or oh, I will do one thing I will run the calculation objects and show you how it is wrong yeah you see here this is wrong because that is not a proper light output where else you can see my first bullet this is how it should be okay this is wrong so how are we going to rectify it we'll both go back to the 3d model go and delete this entire thing since it's in a group copy and arrange group you can select and delete in one shot okay we'll keep this now why it was wrong is now if i place the individual luminaire the light output by default here is towards the right side okay so when i'm performing the copy and arrange option my is file is not rotating because i didn't give any rotation offset in case i gave the rotation offset too though my is is rotated but my 3d model will not be rotated okay now say here copy along the line follow curve shape i'm giving the rotation offset okay then my bullard is rotated now the same way copy along the line the is two is here follow curve shape 90 degree apply now you see the light output here is front which is what i need but the bullard is rotated so this is not going to work out i'm going to delete all this so what are we going to do is file is towards the right side the best way is to make your 3d model too facing right side how we are going to do it we'll go to the construction we'll make the model from the starting go to the 3d model 0.7 meter is the height place individual object i'll place it here with this 0.128 with this 0.128 we'll make it 0.128 and this is 0 0.06 we'll make it 0 0.06 now even my bullard is facing towards this side will perform the same boolean operation tool we performed little earlier okay 3d model is ready we'll place the luminar too adjust the IES file placement go to copy and arrange hold the shift key and select even the 3d model 
center y central x now group it okay it is in group now same procedure i'll keep my is and 3d model selected copy and arrange tool copy along the line define the number of bullets you require say i need 10 bullets so the distance between the two bullets will be 1.2 meters that is good follow curve shape now rotation of set we know that the is file is rotated towards right side so we'll consider it to be our zero degrees now here i want my is to be rotated here towards the y-axis so what is the angle it makes 90 degree so rotation then the rotation of the offset here will be 90 degree apply you can see here the light output the light is in the front we'll go to the calculation objects and check out if we did it the right way calculation objects run entire project the calculation is completed and you can see the light output perfect this is how we wanted our bollards to be placed nice light output that's perfect let's go and try if we can do the same for curved placement curved arrangement i'll go to the copy and arrange we'll keep the 3d model and the is file selected now say i want to position it here copy a longer curve and draw the curve line define the quantity let's make it 12 bullets or we can increase it to 14 bullets because the distance now is 1.3 meters follow curve shape make the rotation offset 90 degree and apply okay seems to be correct but let's run the calculation and check the result calculation objects run entire project yes it is correct you can see the bullets properly placed in the curve shape and the light output is correct i think this is the easiest way possible to place the bullard and post top lamps or in your projects it's not much time consuming it will save you lots and lots of time so guys this is it in this tutorial if you found my tutorial helpful please do please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you